So just to explain that a little bit, previously black race was used in the formulas that estimate the GFR. Um, and this was done because the initial clinical trials that we had um, came up with formulas for the eGFR based on the population that they had. They had a smaller number of black patients, um, but in, in that it suggested that um, the GFR for black patients um, may be higher based on those trials, and that was used for years. Those formulas uh, w were used for years. But in the as we have become more aware of um, you know race being a social construct and um, it being a really complex um, uh, you know kind of topic or area because individuals who self-identify as black is self-identification. It's not a biological um, you know um, uh, based uh, construct. And then ad additionally, people who are uh, identify as multiracial, how do you account for that? And then um, another thing to keep in mind in these clinical trials, black race was the only one that is uniquely used in the formulas. Um, other races were not um, used in the formulas to account for how their EGFR might be different. So it was either blacks versus all others kind of pooled in together. And so um, this meant that individuals who self-identified as black uh, when they were reporting this to their physicians and or to the lab and were having their kidney function test, their EGFR was calculated slightly higher for other individuals who might have all the other factors the same, including age, um, sex, body type, right? And so that would mean, for example, patients with advanced kidney disease, um, so kidney chronic kidney disease stage four, nearing stage five, who would otherwise be listed for transplant. If they were black, they were getting listed later for transplant. And that meant they would accumulate less time um, on the transplant wait list before they needed to go on dialysis. And that is a huge implication. And so in 2021, there was a National Kidney Task Force, both from the American Society of Nephrology and National Kidney Foundation, that announced a new race-free equation for EGFR, which has been implemented in many hospitals and labs across the country. Of course, whenever there is a change that's implemented, there's, you know, downstream effects. One of the downstream effects um, was now individuals who had um, self-identified as Black, who had a higher EGFR, all of a sudden now, you know, within a, a span of a month when the labs changed, their EGFR dropped by 7, 10 points. And that was, you know, that's huge because um, you, nothing has changed with your body, but now you're being told your kidney function is actually lower than what you previously thought it was. So a lot of adjustment for individuals across the board, um, good for patients who needed to be referred for transplant um, and for physicians who could do that referral. However, um, it required a lot of discussion um, to enable people to understand you know, the implications of this new, new change. But I think a really um, positive change where we've taken race out of the uh, measurement for um, glomerular filtration rate. Yeah, so you know, whenever I looked at my lab results, it would say EGFR, if black, then this, if if not black, then this. So my EGFR was always calculated as being higher. And so when these changes were being made, initially I was I was I was really surprised because I said, oh my gosh, so many people now, so many African American people now are gonna be under that umbrella of chronic kidney disease. But as Dr. Chaudhry, you know, stated, it's actually a good thing because it's allowing um, for quicker services as far as like transplant or treatment for chronic kidney disease. So it's a good thing. It definitely is a good thing. Mm -hmm.